the Middlesex Expo is primarily filled with a hundred business people that are here to showcase their wares, their business opportunities. Um, we have an evening event, our business after work function, which will happen tonight from four to seven, and that is a social function for networking. There's a lot of diversity, there's something for everyone. Home goods, some banking businesses, insurances. The camaraderie with the other um, people that are here as members who are networking, you can just sort of feel that sense of community and everyone's sort of cheering everyone else on as they are trying to better themselves and kind of get the word out about their company. So that camaraderie is always special. Brownstone Exploration Park is an outdoor sports adventure park. We offer zip lining, wakeboarding, all sorts of water toys out in the water, icebergs, blobs, launchers, that kind of thing. We have just acquired Powder Ridge over in Middlefield. We will be opening for skiing, snowboarding, and extreme tubing December 2013. We do quite a few trade shows, a lot of expos throughout Connecticut and up into Massachusetts. This one, it's a home feeling. You meet people, you get to talk to them, they all know Powder Ridge, they want to talk about it, they want to hear about it. And of course, being able to connect with all of our business partners in the area, there's nothing better. We definitely love to work with the people in our area. We have a, I've just started a relationship with Lyman Orchard. We're going to be working hand in hand with them over at Powder Ridge and Middlefield. So it just helps benefit and uh, enhance all that good synergy. We're a gold sponsor of the Chamber because we feel that it's real important to be able to support local members of the business community. you got to figure that 80% of all small businesses have less than 20 employees. So from a business standpoint, that's our sweet spot of the businesses that we offer high-speed internet, telephone, and web hosting services to. Practically everybody in the room has at least one of our services at Comcast Business Class so we can connect with them as well. My name is Rich Terhune and I'm a partner in the Southern Connecticut office of New York Life. We're looking for people that are entrepreneurial, that want to help others, that have a great work ethic, that want to be paid what they're worth, that are coachable, would like to make a difference. This is the second time that New York Life's been involved in the Middlesex County Chamber of Commerce Career Fair, once earlier this year and the second time today. And we've been pleased by not only the quantity of people that come here, but also the caliber of the attendees as well. Middlesex County Chamber of Commerce is the voice of business. Uh, I think that describes it the best. We're always out there fighting for our businesses in planning and zoning. Uh, we try to help them out in many, many ways in economic uh, development. Uh, we do have a lot of resources in the chamber to help out. And being a county chamber really helps us also because now we can put a mass together of the 12 of the 15 towns in the county that are active with us uh, to really compete with the cities uh, that are a lot bigger uh, in population base but our chamber, as you know, is the largest in the state of Connecticut as far as membership. We actually just had a membership drive and we've um, very proudly welcomed 102 members in a 30-day span. That's unheard of. This is already the largest chamber in the state of Connecticut. So it's something we take a great deal of pride in and our members do as well. Well, WMRD and WLIS, both the two Middlesex County commercial radio stations are working together. WMRD in the northern part of the county, WLIS in the southern part of the county and along the shoreline. Uh, we put our programming together uh, through our facility in Middletown, but we use both stations to uh, put the programming out to the public. And these days, of course, we also have to put it up on the internet and on demand, so it's a busy place. We're still basically community-oriented, and we still do all the things that folks would expect a community-oriented station to do, including uh, events like this and high school sports and so on. This is my 18th year. Uh, at the Chamber Expo, and uh, that's as many years as I've been in the community. Uh, the first thing I did when I came to this community was to join the Chamber of Commerce and the leadership of Larry McHugh, which continues to this day. So he and I go back uh, all through those years. Hi, I'm Christy Carpino. I represent the two best towns in Connecticut, Cromwell and Portland, and we're here at the Middlesex Chamber of Commerce Expo. Cromwell is very lucky that the Middlesex Chamber uses us and our facilities to be their host. This is a wonderful event and then it gives the business owners an opportunity to really talk amongst themselves. So often, particularly here in Cromwell and Portland, 
our small business owners are so focused on making their businesses thrive and grow that they don't have an opportunity to actually talk to one another. So the Middlesex Chamber gives them a wonderful environment here at the Expo to talk, learn from one another, learn new ideas, help each other grow, and it's a wonderful environment having it right here home in Cromwell. Well, my name is Jeff Buglis. I'm uh, one of our vice presidents here at the Middlesex County Chamber of Commerce, and today I'm sort of acting as a master of ceremonies or announcer of raffle prizes is kind of more accurate, so I'm having a good time doing it. Oh, we have a, a full day of events and activities here at the uh, 2013 Middlesex County Business Expo. We kicked it off with a terrific economic forecast breakfast. We have a general public portion for the Expo uh, from 10 to 3 p.m. We have a career fair with over 50 companies that are hiring, also going from 10 to 3 p.m. We have a terrific annual Expo luncheon, which also doubles as our Small Business Awards presentation. Uh, we're excited about honoring some of our small business champions in Middlesex County. And then 4 to 7 tonight, we have our executive evening business after work portion of the Expo, which is members only, uh, free beer, wine, all you can eat, great buffet, great spread put on by the Crown Plaza staff, and we're excited about that as well. The chamber itself, we have over 2,300 member businesses, and those businesses employ over 50,000 people throughout Middlesex County and the surrounding area. A wide, wide array of businesses. Uh, we have a number of councils and divisions. The councils are industry based, and our divisions are geographically based throughout the county. Um, every industry sector imaginable is represented in our chamber, uh, so we feel like we're a very dynamic business organization and a, a true service to our members and the voice of business in Middlesex County.